head coach Mike McDonald and John Schneider, general manager and also president of football operations introduced this team's number one draft pick that is Byron Murphy from Texas. And here is some of the clips from the press conference. Turn it up. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, man, That's a joke, Greg. <laughs> The middle one. All right. Great. Thank you. Well, welcome everyone. Awesome, awesome day. Exciting day here at the VMAC. Uh, you know, Byron Murphy Day. Uh, you know, it's it's an exciting deal. First round draft choice. So uh, everybody in the room for the last several months has been very excited about this day. Uh, the opportunity the other night to be able to select Byron with the 16th pick. Uh, it was quite stressful, I gotta tell you, brother. <laughs> but um, I can't tell you, you know, how excited uh, everybody is to have you here. Um, so, on behalf of the of uh, Jody Allen, uh, every our family here in the building at the VMAC, and uh, all the twelves, we wanted to welcome you. And uh, Mike, if you had a couple, yeah, it's, yeah, we're just really excited to have you, man. And um, like John said, that was a was an exciting night on Thursday. Uh, I told told some folks it's kind of like a game of Planko on Price is Right, you know, just trying to have everything kind of slot out, you know, to work our way. And um, when it became evident that uh, Byron was going to be our guy, it was just really, really exciting in the room. And I um, want to thank all the people that into the process that, you know, put all the work in to um, find the right guy. I think I'm just really excited to get this thing kicked off, man. Just congratulations to you and your family. And uh, it's been a long, fruitful uh, fun relationship, man. A lot, of, a lot of great things in store, so congratulations. Today, who I have with me, uh, you know, my court in the corner right here, got my dad, Byron Murphy Sr., got my, my mom, got Hello. my queen, Sanisa <laughs> Murphy, and my beautiful girlfriend, future wife, so <laughs> Maya Heard, and also my agent, Ron Slaver. So, man, uh, you know, I'm just right now taking it all in. Just very excited, man. Really just blessed to be here, you know. Uh, you know, growing up, you know, Seattle, you know, been my favorite team, so, man, just to be a part of this team, you know, in this organization, man, it really means a lot, you know. Uh, you know, uh, I'm going to give them everything I got, you know, each and every day, 110%, you know. Uh, man, I just want to say uh, thank, thank both of you guys just for, you know, just for trusting in me, you know, believing in me, and even, you know, picking me to be, you know, part of this team and everything. It really means a lot, man. So it's a dream come true. There, you know, just the way they play, man. Uh, you know, it's something I wanted to be a part of. You know, and also too, growing up, I was a huge fan of Russell Wilson. Like, I loved Russell Wilson growing up as a kid, man. So watching them guys go out there, you know, just dominate their opponents, you know, and win the Super Bowl, man. It, it was crazy, you know. That's, that's one of my goals. I'm trying to win games and you know bring the Super Bowl here as well. How did you take that? Well, I wore ten, so I was thinking like. I had, you know, I had a few options, but I chose 91 because I was thinking like nine plus one equals 10. So, yeah, man. So just wanted to have that feeling again, like when I was in high school, because high school, that's when I first started, you know, that's when I transitioned to D-Tac because I wasn't playing that at first. And when I first went down there, you know, I was one ten. So what happened was the reason why I made the move, so uh, it was like my 10th grade year, I was playing middle linebacker. And we had like a, uh, like a look. A little play where I got a nose. So I ended up going to nose, I ended up making a TFL in the backfield. So like the next day my coach came up to me. He was like, you ever thought about moving to D tackle? I looked at him like he was crazy because I never seen myself being a being a defensive tackle, you know. I tell I'm telling him like, you know, I'm a skilled guy, I'm not gonna play down there no triggers, man. I ain't, I ain't ready I ain't ready for that. But uh I end up uh I end up saying yeah and uh <laughs> I, for some reason, I don't know why I ended up saying, yeah. And then when I told my parents, oh, man, my parents, man, they went off on me, man. They were mad and everything. But, you know, I was telling them, you know, it's going to be okay. You know, I'm, I'm going to do good at that position. And, man, you know, I just, you know, when I first started off, you know, obviously had to learn a lot. But I started learning, like, you know, I crashed it, like, fast, you know, quickly. So, you uh, know, man, as I was doing, you know, learning, I'm like, man, this stuff is, you know, really simple. And man, uh, I got it down right away, you know, and it's, it's been on ever since then. I'm shaking big, you know, I feel like I had it all in running backs. So. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, been, it's been awesome to be out there actually doing football on the grass. So, 
Uh, excited about our process. You know, we're taking it slow, like slow, smooth, smooth, fast. But now we'll get the rookies um, as a part of the crew. You know, we'll have the camp this week, and then I think they're here uh, in two weeks. You know, for for good. And um, but yeah, just to get out there and do it for real, rather than all the theory on the board and stuff, is uh, is always a nice, uh, nice uh, breath of fresh air. All right, so there you go. What's up next for the rookies is that they did a walkthrough today and Friday and Saturday, it'll be the first time they hit the field so that we can see that. That is the three-day rookie mini camp. So we'll, we'll bring you reports from there, from the VMAC in Renton. I'm Osvito Mario here for the Cascadia Sports.net report.